We have a sort of working layout now, but it's quite basic. The labels aren't very high, and without a rule regarding the bottom of the last label, it's possible the views might be pushed off the bottom edge. To begin to fix this problem, we're going to add a constraint to the bottom edge, saying that the bottom of our last label must be at least 10 points away from the bottom of the view controller's view. We're also going to tell auto layout we want each of the five labels to be 88 points high. So, back in view to load, I'm going to say label one, and inside the brackets, and add parentheses, and do equals equals 88, then end the parens. I'll copy and paste that part of the code into label two, and label three, and label four, and label five. So they all have this equals equals 88 there, saying the size must be exactly 88 points. After the last label though, I'm gonna add a space. So we some space at the end of my screen, but I'm gonna say that space with parens again must be greater than or equal to 10 points. Then another space and then this pipe. And remember that pipe means the end of the screen. So the difference now is we have these numbers inside parentheses, like uh, equals equals 88 for our labels and greater than equals to 10 for the space near the end. Note that when specifying the size of a space, you have to use the dash before and after the size. So you can see we're specifying two kinds of size here, equals equals and greater than equals, with the first meaning exactly equal and the second meaning greater than or equal to. So our labels will be forced to be an exact size and we ensure there's some space at the bottom while also making it flexible. It will definitely be at least 10 points but could be 100 or more depending on the situation. Now actually, wait a minute, sorry, I didn't want to use 88 here, sorry, silly mistake, I meant 80 points. So go ahead and start changing uh, 88 to be uh, 80, like uh, here and here and and here. Ah, no, sorry, not, not 80, sorry, being silly. Um, 72 looks better, I think. So let's do 72 here and then here and then, ah, come on. This is clearly boring. Having to do 88 or 80 or 72 again and again and again is not pleasant. It can feel like you're apps being designed by committee, making changes again and again and again. Now, Auto Layout's got a solution to this, and it's called Metrics. All these calls to constraint with visual format, that's this thing here, have been sent nil for their metrics. That's this parameter here. But that's about to change. You see, you can give VFL a set of sizes with names, then use those sizes in the VFL rather than hard coding numbers. For example, if you want to give our label a height of 88, we could do so as a dictionary like this. Let metrics equals label height colon 88. So our number's still in there, but now it's attached to a value called label height that we can use instead. And now, whenever we'd written equals equals 88, we can just write label height. So down here we have equals equals 72. I'll say label height. I'll copy that to my pasteboard and put it in here, and then here, and here, and here. So now for metrics, rather than saying nil, we instead want to use our new metrics dictionary. So I'll write metrics here, passing that into the call. So when your designer or manager or inner pedant decides 88 points is wrong, and you want some other number, you can change it in one place to have everything update. Let's press Command R to build that code, run it back and see how it looks. Boom, nice big chunky labels now with flexible space at the bottom. Before we're done, we're going to make one more change that makes the whole UI much better because right now it's still imperfect. To be more specific, we're forcing all labels to be a particular height, then adding constraints to the top and bottom. This still works fine in portrait, but in landscape mode, you're unlikely to have enough room to satisfy all the constraints. Let's try it out. If I rotate this thing to landscape, you'll see it gets squashed here, green's gone, and this big error appears down here in Xcode. Look at this massive error here. It's telling us it's unable to simultaneously satisfy the constraints we have. And it'll tell us all the constraints we have and suggest we fix one of these things. 
This means your auto layout constraints simply don't work given how much screen space there is. And that's where priority comes in. You can give any layout constraint a priority and auto layout will do its best to make it work. Constraint priority is a value between one and a thousand, where 1000 means this is absolutely required and anything less than that is optional. By default, all constraints you have are priority 1000, so auto layout will fail to find a solution in our current layout. But if you make the height optional, even as high as priority 999, i.e. one less than 1000, it means auto layout can find a solution to our layout. It'll shrink the labels to make them fit. It's important to understand that auto layout doesn't just discard rules it can't meet. It still does its best to meet them. So in our case, if you make our 88 point height optional, auto layout might make them 78 points or some other number. That is, it'll still do its best to make them as close to 88 as possible. Ultimately, they're evaluated from highest priority down to lowest, but all are taken into account. So we're gonna make our label height have a priority of 999, i.e. really important, but not required. But we're also gonna make one other change, which is to tell auto layout we want labels to have the same height. This is important because if all of them have optional heights using label height, auto layout might solve the layout by shrinking one label and making another 88. From its point of view, it has at least managed to make some labels 88, so it's probably quite pleased with itself. But it makes our UI look uneven. So we're gonna make the first label use label height at a priority of 999, then have the other labels adopt the same height as the first label. So I'll hide this away again. And for our labels here, we have label one being label height. I'm gonna to add to that at 999. And for label two where it has its label height, I'm going to use label one. Give it the same height as label one. I'll paste that in again for the other labels here, here, and here. And it's this at 999 that makes this thing have a priority of 999, i.e. not required, but really, 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 really wanted. So one less than a thousand. And using label one everywhere else means make this thing the same height as the first label. Now press Command R to build it and run it again. And boom, they all fit nicely, even in landscape mode where it's compressed before and in portrait. They look great both ways around. If you look carefully, you can see they're taller here than they are in landscape. They're being squashed ever so slightly in landscape, but still kept to the same size. 